What's up, guys? Lou in here at GarageBand and beyond. Welcome back. Good evening, I should say. It's the first time I've made a video in the nighttime in a very long time. Like, like literally since my like how to build a home recording studio <laughs> video, like the very, very old one. Um, anyway, <laughs> off topic. Uh, so why you're here, because you read that title. I finally figured something out that I know a lot of you have been wondering if it's possible. And yes, it's possible to get the end of your GarageBand recording using the auto drummer to slow down with, you know, the ending of a song. So a lot of times, you know, you probably know, you wish that you could retard the end of the song. Um, so you had that sort of like natural, it's just sort of falling off the edge of the cliff feeling. Um, but you can't do that. Or in the past, I didn't think you could do it, but I figured out how to do it. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it because it's really fun, simple, easy thing to do. Uh, I figured this out in the mix stage, I will say. I do wish that I had figured this out earlier, like while I was recording, because it would have just been a little bit cleaner um, in general. But anyway, not a, it doesn't, not a big deal. I figured it out now and it totally works. So let's just listen to it. And so you have an idea what the hell I'm talking about. Okay, here we go. Right. Um, just so you hear it again. Sorry about the clicking and popping. My computer's a little maxed out running this project, and I'm screen recording and audio recording and running GarageBand. Um, anyway, so what we're talking about is happening right here. I'm going to zoom in there and um, you can just see these are the increments that I've brought the tempo down. So this is the tempo track in the arrangement section. So if you don't know how to find this, it's really simple. You go up to the track menu, third from the bottom, yours will say show tempo track, but then this whole thing will appear right here. And then it works more or less like any other piece of automation like when you're dropping points on an automation line right so except this you drop the point and then it is going to leave an anchor already for you so you just have to grab it and then you you know drop it and move it and you automatically get this little one with the hole there the dot in the middle um, which is very nice uh, makes it very clean and easy so and also tells you that you can't do it in sort of a gradual way now I did experiment I I have found that it's better to do it with less. I did try to have like like a ton of them and it just sort of became a nightmare to move it around. So I've reduced it down to what I basically thought was the most important. So we're talking basically about one bar or, you know, so it's like, or one, two, three, four, one, right? So you have that one extra beat on the end there. So I hear those beats slowing down basically in like every like one, and, like one and a half beats you know what I mean so it's like like one and slows down slows down you know what I mean so it's like so those are the increments that you should sort of see <laughs> you like my late night description um so anyway that's what you should see here in this staircase formation so uh one thing I would you know I'm not directly in the grid because I'm trying to humanize it a little bit uh I'm gonna keep playing with it one thing that definitely helps uh, when you do this that I found just to sort of clean it up, especially if you're doing it like I am in the mix stage only uh, is to use the groove track. If you don't know how to find the groove track, um, go up to track and track header and then it will say show groove track. So then the groove track uh, can be anywhere like it'll be blank like this, but then you can you drop the star in to tell your program what to follow. In this case, it's going to be the drums. Sorry for the people who already know all this, but you know, I got to say everything. Um, anyway, so then the groove track will sort of, you, you know, if I turn this off, watch what happens in this area. If I turn it off, can you see that bass track moving like in and out of time? So it's just sort of cleaning up my part and aligning it with the drum. And then I have the drum following the bass part. So they're sort of working synchronous together I think that's the word <laughs> um, anyway so that's pretty much it very simple thing to do but absolutely positively convincing uh, like I said if I had been able to do this while I was recording it would have been 
even more convincing. Uh, but it's just one of those like little fine details and and at the end of a song that just you know is a very cool thing to be able to do with the auto drummer. And now you know how to do it. All right, you guys. So if you'd like the videos that I make, please check out my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash garage band and beyond and find out like there's like exclusive stuff that happens over there and more exclusive stuff that's going to be happening over there. Google Hangouts, things like that. Um, and it's just a cool way to help support the channel as well if you're interested and subscribe and leave comments, lots and lots of comments. Share it if you like. Um, oh, join us on the Facebook page. I'm on Twitter, never, but I do have a Twitter page and uh, Facebook mostly. So you guys <laughs> have a good night. I'll talk to you later. I'm going to bed. Good night.